Streams, introduced with Java 8, allow us to apply bulk operations against collections of data in a SQL-like fashion. We introduced streams, talked about its basic concepts, ways to create streams and some methods like filter, peak, for each, etc. in my earlier video, Java Streams Getting Started. Please watch it for getting a good basic understanding of streams. In this video, we will continue our discussion and talk about two other popular methods, map and flat map. We will talk about their differences and then see a demo to clarify concepts. The map operation of streams takes in a mapping function which it applies to each element of the stream. The function returns a single value for each element. These resultant values are now sent out in another new stream. So one stream is transformed into another. Maybe a stream of strings being transformed to a string of integer and so on. Flat map on the other hand also takes in a function which it applies to stream elements. But instead of returning one value, it returns a stream of new values. Its main use is to flatten the elements of the input stream. So if you have a stream of streams of string values, then flat map can reduce it to a single stream of values after applying the mapping function. Let us look at demos to clarify the concepts further. Here, I'm running Spring Tool Suite, which is a flavor of Eclipse. Let's create a new Java project and call it Map Demo. Click Finish. Let's create a new class by right-clicking and choosing New Class and name it Test. Let's include a main method. Click Finish. Let us first understand the map operation. Let's first create a simple string array consisting of three names, Tom, Jack and Harry. Let's create a stream of string. Let us import streams using the stream of method and passing in the array. Now to the array stream, let's apply the map method, which takes in the mapping function to apply to each element of the stream and transform it. So for example, let's apply the two uppercase function using the lambda expression to each element and using for each, let's print the transformed stream values. Let's run this. And we see the transformed stream values, strings in uppercase. Let's now apply the length function. Now running the class, we see the transformed stream, which is a stream of integer values, the length of each name. Hopefully, this makes map operation clear. Now, moving on to the flat map operation. Let's create a new class and call it test flat map. Let's create a main method. Let us say we want to find the distinct words in a text file. So let's see how we'll solve this problem using the traditional method as well as by using streams. So here is a test file in the documents folder. Let's open it and it has three lines of text. First, let us create a path object for this file. Let's get a list of strings which are the lines of the file using files.readAllLines method, passing in the path, surround it with try catch. So the read lines will return a list consisting of three elements, each element being a line of the file like this. Let's iterate over each line in the lines list, get the array of words in each line by applying the lines.split method, passing in the regular expression to split based on one or more spaces. So in each iteration, there will be an array consisting of words in a line like this. So one array for each iteration. Now to find distinct words, we know that the sets store only distinct values. So let's create a set as a new hash set, import it, and inside the loop, let's add to the set the word. So after the iterations, the set will contain all the distinct words. Let's print the set. Now run the project and we indeed see the distinct words. But look at the code complexity with two for loops, a set object, etc. Let's do the same operation using streams. The files.lines method takes in the path and returns a stream. To this stream, let us apply the map method to split each line in an array of words using space separator. 
So this map will transform the stream of strings in a stream of arrays, one array for each line. After applying the split function, something like this. Next, let us apply the map operation again and apply the stream method built into arrays to convert each string array into a stream of strings. So the resultant stream would be a stream of streams of string, something like this. Now the stream has a distinct operation. Then print each element using for each. Surround our code with try catch. If you run it at this point, we see the distinct operation lists the three streams. However, what we wanted was it to apply the distinct operation to each word inside the three streams. Flat map can help with this and if we apply flat map here, then it will apply the stream function of arrays to create the three streams and then further flatten them to a single stream with the words from each and now applying distinct would give us the desired result. Let's run it and here we see that flat map has flattened the structure and we see the distinct words. But look how simple and expressive the code is using streams versus the multiple iterations etc we had to do using the traditional method. In this video, we looked at the map and flat map operations of streams. Map operation applies a function to every element of the stream to produce a transformed element which is added to the new output stream. Flat map primarily is used to flatten the elements from multiple streams into a single one. Thanks for watching.